Welcome on board LNER, first class. Only five pounds more than standard class. Bit of a no-brainer, really. You get complimentary food. Although today there were no apples because of coronavirus, the guy said. Anyway, hopefully we'll get some apples in York. We've also got Storm Dennis approaching, so the LNER website warns there may be chaos, whatever that means. Anyway, next stop is York, so we'll see what happens when we get to York. <laughs> uh, Saturday tends to be one of those days where York is a mecca for young people wanting to go somewhere else to get drunk for some reason. But I've survived the journey, I'm now in York, and it's Saturday. And there's a couple there enjoying the use of the little bar where they can watch the trains go by. I like that cafe actually, it's really good. And just outside the station, if you turn right and go around to Middlegate Bar, you'll find a nice little cafe, an Italian cafe. More later. Well, first I'm off to Lendl Bridge just to see how high the ooze is because Storm Dennis has made the uh, river level a bit higher. Next to Lendl Bridge over the River Ooze and there's a nice little cafe. And uh, in the summer you can sit outside but you can see the river's quite high today because of Storm uh, Dennis uh, and all the rain. So I don't know if the cafe's open, we'll go down and have a look because they do really nice cakes actually. The perky peacock as you can see and um, They've got a sandbag next to me, so they're obviously expecting the water to rise. So let's turn round and uh, see what happens in York. Roads get closed because of the risk of flooding. Open, that's what I like to see. True Yorkshire grit. Here's a selection of the cakes made here, and uh, they all look very tempting. I do like the pink and yellow one. And um, the cafe is very busy at the moment and quite noisy and the manager's not in. So I think I'm going to come back another day. Meantime, I'm going to Cafe La Tazzina on Micklegate. Now this picture shows you how close it is to the station because in the background you can see the end of the beautiful station roof and a very wet looking cyclist coming around the corner. On the corner of Blossom Street. And when I first came in, the cafe was absolutely full. Every seat taken, there was just one wee table in the corner with one chair next to it. So I squeezed in and um, I'm waiting now for Chris to come and uh, speak to me about um, his background and the cakes and the coffee. Incidentally, Micklegate is uh, a well-known street in York. It's known as the Micklegate Run because it's popular with groups of uh, young girls, young guys visiting all the pubs in Micklegate to get as many beers in as they can before they hit the city centre. I've been coming here regularly uh, over the last few years and um, I'm actually on my way to see my favourite team, York City Football Club. OK, so don't embarrass me by checking the result. So, Chris, uh, thank you for sparing a couple of minutes with me. And this is the uh, Café La Tazina. Ha have, I, have I said that correctly? You yeah, have done, yes, absolutely right. Café La Tazina. Okay. And uh, what's the Italian connection? Um, to my father, my, my father's from Sardinia, um, but also I was born in Sardinia. I came over to, to England when uh, I was three months old. All right, and why did you start a café? I started um, six years ago. Um, I'd previously worked for my father, my father had a restaurant many, many years ago. Um, and you describe yourself as being born in Sardinia, you do actually sound like a Yorkie as well. <laughs> Yorkie, made in York. I do, yeah, I was about 13 <laughs> when I moved up to York. Uh, so many, many, many moons ago. Uh, I've been here a long time, I up in York. And I love York. Great place. It is, well I've lived here before, I don't live here now, but it's, it is a lovely city. And I've just enjoyed a bowl of um, wild mushroom soup with Stilton, which some people think sounds a bit uh, risky, but actually it was fantastic. Well, I, first of all, I always congratulate you on the soup, the mushroom and Stilton soup. Is that your own recipe? It is, yeah, the can Stilton soup, yeah, yeah. Well, the soup is wild mushroom and Stilton. Nice, nice. And the carrot cake, I tried the carrot cake. Well, there's the carrot cake and I'm really looking forward to tucking into this. Um, do you bake the cakes here or do you buy them in? Uh, they're predominantly bought in. Uh, we try and get um, small batches, handmade. It's maybe a little bit of a bridge too far to, to do all our own stuff. So. And what's your secret of success? Uh, not afraid to do ours. Uh, so the 
nine to five out the window and you've got to work when you have to and need to. Uh, seasonal variations, menu variations, and it's be adaptive, be adaptive in certain ways. Adaptation, be adaptive, yes. Oh, Chris, uh, tell me about the coffee. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's the recipe for the coffee? The recipe for the coffee, um, it was a guy that approached me uh, maybe about four years ago. He was our coffee engineer. Uh, he'd been in the industry for uh, about 40 years. Um, seems to really know his stuff. Um, a nice strong coffee that's not, not too bitter. Mm -hmm. uh, it's taken away the bitterness. Uh, it works really, really well. And we're really happy with it. So, uh, Pure gene. Your coffee is well you're, done. You're happy because your customers are happy, I guess. Yes, there's a local guy from Selby as well, so very local. Alright, oh, right. Right. Just, just, yeah. just down the river. Yeah, which, yeah. which is about to burst its banks, I believe. Yes again, yes again, yes again, yes. Well, I worked in York for a number of years, and uh, we had the pleasure of being sent home early by the police a number of times because of the flooding. Oh, <laughs> but for you, that wouldn't be a pleasure. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> well, some, some people come to see the floods in York as well, so yes, how it works sometimes. Yeah. Good. Okay, thanks again, Chris. Okay, great. So, Dan, you tell me you were a regular at this cafe, the Cafe Fazina. Uh, what do you like about the cafe? Um, it's extremely nice food. Um, we've been coming for years. Um, and it's really reasonably priced. It's on a really busy road. Um, it's the top of Micklegate in York. Um, a lot of the cafes further down are much probably double the price to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. uh, and the food is also good. The mm -hmm. food has been great here for years. Um, coffee's good. Um, me and my daughter like to come. Yeah, so it's just a really nice cafe. So. And you mentioned the food. Well, I, I had the soup today, which I can recommend. Do you know what the soup is? I don't actually, I've gone for meatballs today. Oh, so, you've yeah. gone for meatballs. meatballs? I've never had the meatballs no, here. me neither, first time, so. Well, the soup is wild mushroom and stilton. Nice, nice. Yeah. I don't know if that's my thing, but I'm sure it's nice. So, <laughs> it yeah. goes very well. Here we are at York, waiting for the new train on the block. No Azuma, just a little Voyager. Run for it, quick!